lovers. They're mostly advantages, but they can also be disadvantages. How can they be disadvantages? Well, if you level up an item all the way up to the maximum, and the lover spawns from there, guess what? You can never get it out, and it just hogs up space. There are two ways around that problem, though. First, get a lover to spawn in the first place, then level it up. The second, clutter it up so that lovers cannot possibly ever spawn. If this is any hint. So, what are the advantages? There's actually two advantages. The first, and the most useful of them all, Ready? Every single one of those stats goes up by the percentage the lover has. Every single one of them. Yes, his HP has gone up 25% from his original. Attack, SP, Int, you name it, every single one of those. The only ones not affected are Counter, Move, and Jump, and along with the Elemental and Status defenses, and obviously the level since that X determines the experience, that is. But what's the second advantage? Well, to understand that, you have to look at what their specialties are under unit health, not the weapon masteries, what their skills are, or the masters and students and as such. But if you look at the bottom there closely, you'll see gains magic skills quickly. Hmm. What does that mean? Well, skulls, when you first get them, actually get 15 on their skills whenever they use them. For magic, that is. Normally, it's 10 for everyone else. However, with lovers, that 15 will increase. With uh, 300 mentor, it tops out at 57. Which seems rather strange, because 57 is not a multiple of 4, so there's probably a bug or something in there. But, either way, at least it gives you the idea. And what about this one? Well, I have seen this one's special skill. Unexpectedly, though. That's from excessive leveling up in Cave of Ordeals 4 and repeatedly playing that, and somehow this one ended up getting so much HP from all those level ups, and guess what? I saw instant death. I would probably suspect that levers cause an increase in the probability of that happening, though. But I'm not too sure. I always keep the HP high, even something like this, so high as it is, and I've had them almost 6 million. Of course, should I perfect that Cosmos Muscle, that's a different subject. He'd probably have 10 million at that point. But either way, this one I'm not sure what lovers do or affect. This one, when you use special skills, like, for example, take Enfeeble. If I remember, this uses... 8, I think it was, when it's level 1, but it's 6. Hmm, seems oddly low. And there's actually a reason for that. Lovers, they provide a bonus, and this one doesn't even have all of the lovers needed. Now, do you have a level 57 Omega Star? Remember how much it takes up? Well, this is a lot less than what it used to be. And that's what this one's special skill is. There's one thing that, I sh that you should know about lovers, though. Lovers are specific. Very particular. For example, a skull lover. Okay, if you put it on a skull, it's going to have an advantage. However, if you put that same skull lover on here, it ain't going to do anything. However, if you have a samurai lover on this one, yes, it will have an effect. But it won't have any effect on this one. It has to be specifically to that exact thing. And this one is different. And just so you know, yeah, I only got a 12. It's not all the way there. But either way, at least it does illustrate the point. However, there are some very special notes that you need to have when it comes to story characters. Or non-generic characters, I should say. Because it might also include Laharl that I've heard and I haven't seen yet. But then again, I haven't advanced this game's story past the second battle in the game. I haven't seen any story bosses, if that's any hint. Yeah, I've got this much, this kind of power, and yet I haven't advanced the story much beyond anything. The key to all of it, item world. Gotta love it.
tough getting started, but it's worth it. But either way, at least you get the idea, anyway. So, uh, what about how do you get levels? Well, if, if you get them from bonuses or steal them from enemies, you ain't gonna find them that way. Sorry, it ain't gonna work that way. However, if you look on some of these, like this one, for example, this one's got a lover, and it's not subdued. Hmm, how did that happen? Well, to do that, you have to have the item equipped for several battles. I'll get at that a little later. What's needed, however, is, well, getting items. How do you, what are, what kind of items do you need to look for? Well, you need items that are ranked uh, five or higher, I think it is. I'm not exactly sure. How do you know what the rank is? Well, that's kind of hard to really say for sure. But if you go to the weapon or armor shop and look at the prices, the fifth lowest price would be the rank of five item. Now, of course, it's also the weakest in the bunch, like, for example, this. Yeah, this is a rank one axe. I think it's the rank one. It might be rank two, but I'm not sure. <coughs> but either way, when you do get items, like, well, I'll explain that a little later, but just so you know, when you get a lover to spawn on something like this, a regular item of rarity 33, I think it is, or higher, yeah, yeah, 32 and higher, that's what it is, uh, when, those would be rare regular items. And of course, if you put collectors in a rarity 31 and such, it's just going to stay, well, a rare like this. But either, either way, uh, it'll still be a one for the lover when it does spawn. Rares, rarity from 8 to 31, minus collectors, of course, though lovers will end up being twos. The best, the legends, from 0 to 7 on rarity, have a lover of three when they spawn. So, what's the best way to getting lovers? Well, or items, particularly legendary items. What's the best way to get it? Well, the best items you can get for uh, getting lovers is armor. And boy, do I mean armor. You can have three armors. You can have three shields, three chaos orbs, three anything. And yeah, there's this that I haven't bothered too much with. Works with these, too. It works with this. It works with this. Anything that goes in et, the etc., that is the easiest and best and most effective way. Weapons are a different subject, though. However, and yeah, I got the rank 40 of this. Those you can only steal in Land of Carnage from a rank 39 item like this. So, why did I level up one of those? Easy. This thing. Yep, this one's got one of those. It's got a collector in there to get matching rarity. That's what they're used for, in case you're wondering. What is matching rarity? It provides bonuses to all stats, much like lovers. Since in this case I have three items of matching rarity, I get 20% bonus. 20% bonus from, from these stats, 20% on this, 20% on this, in case you're wondering. 